Hello everyone and welcome to Beginner Ballet here on YouTube. Hope that you're all doing well. I am excited to dance with you today. We're going to do our normal warm-up that we've been doing um, a little bit faster than usual just to get through everything. Then we will move on to the bar going to just go over everything that we've learned today. So kind of putting all of that together and then next week will be the last week. There will be one more thing I want to teach you guys. But apart from that, we are doing very, very well. And yeah, I think we should just get started. So just finding a space in the middle of your floor, just making sure you have enough room. We're not going to kick anything. Let's do our kind of improv based warm up. As with always, yes, just you do you, do whatever feels good. Um, and I'm not an improv teacher, I'm not, you know, a gaga expert, but this is really just for us to kind of move our joints and get all those cracks out because I know a lot of us have been a little more stagnant these days. So let's get moving. Find your place. Ready. Just let's start with rolling the shoulders up and back. And good breathing. We'll reverse the circle, drawing forward. <sighs> Maybe taking a couple sides. Good, let's repeat one more time, slightly bigger. Maybe bringing the shoulders up to the ears and down. Reverse. Feel our head get really heavy. We'll just roll over the feet all the way forward. Put our hands on the floor or keep them at the nape of the neck. Whatever is available to you, just plie and stretch. Just relaxing those hip flexors as you plie and slowly roll up. Good. Already starting with the feet. Let's just roll through the feet, up and over the ankles, just hearing all those cracks, yeah? Keep on rolling through the feet, trying to make them super pliable like our fingers. doing something that feels nice on the floor. Imagine it's sand or carpeting. Feels nice to brush our feet along. Good, let's bring this up to our knees. Just bringing the knees in and out, forwards and away from each other. And maybe drawing circles with the knees, fronts and backs of the knees. Good, and just noticing how that affects our feet and our hips, but really initiating from the knees. Good, maybe bending the knees so much it takes you down. Let's move this into the hips. Good, drawing out and away from you, front and back as far as we can. But maybe feeling like you have a tail, like a big squirrel. Move that tail around. And just find the areas that are really tight in the hips. Most likely the front of the hips. Find the limit of your movement. But maybe tail drops down. Yeah. Just finding different ways and levels of our bodies. But let's move this movement up into our ribs. Maybe moving them asymmetrically, but keep shifting the weight so we're not just standing still. Opening and closing the ribs. Like a French shutter. Yeah, opening and closing the ribs. And remembering to breathe into the back of our ribs. And 
just keep on breathing. Let's move this into our shoulders. Moving our shoulders bigger than before. Maybe bring our shoulders up to our ears, but letting the bottom of our arms follow the shoulders. Maybe feeling the shoulder blades in the back tight together and far apart. Yeah, feel those shoulder blades. Getting close and pulling them apart. Good. Let's move into our elbows. Let's try to draw them in symmetrically and move them behind our body. Yeah, something we're not used to doing. And moving with the inside of our elbow as well as the pointy part of our elbow. Good, let's bring this into our wrists. But as we're moving the wrists and hands, trying to do the same thing with the feet. Yeah, really pliable as we move. Trying to really imitate the way we move our fingers and hands with our toes on those metatarsals. Nice and soft. Good, let's start to initiate some movement through the top of the body, neck, following the top of the head. Like a snake. Keep on moving forward and back, side to side, maybe corners. Yeah. Just letting the rest of your body kind of follow the path that the head is drawing. Okay, nice. Let's just take a moment to find our own little improv, yeah? Do whatever you want. You can feel totally silly or stretch whatever you like, yeah? Just remembering all of the different parts of our body, knees, hips, elbows, shoulder, head, as we dance, and just try to keep switching the places that we're moving from. And remember, stillness is also a type of movement. And we just keep switching, surprising yourself maybe, with the directions and maybe overwhelming your body by moving in different ways than we would normally do. Yeah, it's all just about finding different ways to move our body and getting in touch. Feet. Shoulder head. Try to make the differences like hip to shoulder and not foot to knee. Yeah, try to make those really separate and remember the ribs all of those points in the body. And let's keep going for a little bit. Good, let's slow down our movement. Feeling the stretch in our limbs. Feel as if you could touch every wall and feel the extension energy out of the limbs. And good, let's just reach right, left, right, left, and we'll roll down over the legs. Good. Take a stretch, shake, that out, doing whatever you want. Yeah, rolling through the head again or staying down over the legs. Let's take a breath and hopefully 
you're feeling nice and warm. Let's move on to our ballet section, yeah? So I'm gonna hold on to this today. You're welcome to hold on to a wall. Whatever you've been holding on to, just make sure it's nice and sturdy so that we're not kind of falling all over the place. So let's get started. Starting with plies as usual, we will start in first position. Five, allonge, six, preparation, seven, bring the arm forward and open. Today, we're gonna plie, bringing the arm down. We'll keep the arm there, we'll just relevate on a straight leg, keeping the knees straight and low. One more time, bringing the arm forward and open and relevate and lower. We breathe. Run, get all the way down. Three, four, and we quarter bar front. Six, coming back up. Seven, time to do second. Eight, then we do the same thing in second. We do a demi, bringing our arm down, and a releve, and a lower, keeping the arm there. And a demi, and a stretch, keeping the arm there, and lower. Grand plie, four counts. All the way down and back up. We'll pull guard towards the bar. Six, seven, time to go into fourth. Yeah, then we do the same thing there. Demi bringing the arm down. Let's try to cross this front leg. Yeah, as we do our right leg, keeping the relation between the legs the same. Yeah, so not letting that happen. Keeping the legs crossed as we right One more time. Crossing the front foot. Grand plie all the way down. We'll quarter bra up and back in fourth position. To tiny in the fifth. Same thing here, front leg is gonna to come towards the back leg. Releve, one grand plie, two, three, four. We'll quarter bra all the way from the bar. Let's keep the arm side. Then we'll stand back up. We'll just bring the arm down, and then we'll find a releve. And then we will find a balance in fifth position, just on flat, yeah, keeping arms nice and open, just checking that they're still in front of our head by wiggling our fingers, we should still be able to see them. We'll find our balance just feeling the two legs pushing down and turning out into the floor. We'll finish there, opening the arms, all on J, and finish. Yeah, so one demi, one releve, twice, one grand plie and one quarter bra. I'll talk to you as we do that. Let's do it. Ready? Starting in first. Seven, eight, and then stretch. Relevate and lower and down. Arm goes forward and up. Relevate, keep the arm there. Lifting as we lower the heels. Grand plie. Let's do the left side. 
keep on breathing as we do those and really following the arm remembering i think i said this a couple weeks ago but when we're playing we're lifting in the body and when we're releve when we go up we're really pushing down into the floor same thing when we lower yeah lifting in the body we want to keep growing taller we want to keep making our spines long so imagine that you're getting taller as we go down yeah let's go to the left starting from first ready six seven Yes. 
Let's do it one slow, two fast. Front side, inside front, a plie releve rise. Then we reverse that, we went to the left right away. I'll talk to you as we do that. Starting from first, ready? Six, seven, eight, and we do. Correct. Down knee point, point, and down toes coming back. Two, fast. Pulling up as we turn to the side. Three, and close. Two, side. Rolling through the feet. Checking your side arm, and inside leg to the front. Heels forward, toe closing in. Two, toes back. Pulling up in the body, and plie. Rather by lifting the heels, Stretch the knees, finding your balance. Good. And let's look. Same to the back. Down knee and out. Down knee. Let's two to the back. Pulling up in the body. We're looking into the palm of our hand. Same to the side. And out. Pulling up in the body. Three, four, 
we'll tom lie to brush your first position to the back and close. Two to the side. Fifth, we do one, two, first, sliding into fifth, and one to change. Yeah, we're gonna do that front back, and then one more time front back. We should stay facing front the whole time. I just have limited space over here, so I'm gonna kind of be turning my body, but try not to let that confuse you. Yeah, we're facing front the whole time, so we do two to the front. Plie and switch. Two to the side. One, two, first, fifth, and ton do fifth. Then we reverse. Two to the back. Third one, plies into fourth position. We transfer our weight onto that leg. Transfer to brush the inside leg to the back. Two to the side. One to first, slide to fifth. One, ton do yeah, trying to keep that sliding really nice and tight, like two sliding doors, just like this. Yeah, nice and tight as we're sliding into fifth position. <sighs> yes. So for the first one, third one, we're going to plie onto the working leg. Inside leg brushes front. Yeah, keep moving in that direction. I'll talk to you as we do that. Still nice and slow-ish, so we should be fine. Yes, let's do it. Ready, starting in fifth. And front, and close. Front, tongue view close. Plie into forward. Inside leg brushes, front and close. Two to the side. Close fifth, back. One, closing first. Slide into fifth. One, tongue view side. Reverse, two to the back. Brush back, close, two to the side. One to first, slide fifth, tongue to fifth. One more time to the front. Keep pulling tall in the body. Plie, inside foot, brush front. Inside leg brushes back and close. Two to the side. 
Winding the first, sliding the other back. And finish. Okay, nice. That one is tough. Give yourself a little shake down. Let's go on to our jeté combination. For today, counting. Yes. So, counting four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go en croix. Yes, front side, back side. One, two, three, hold four. Side, two, hold three. One, hold two. Hold one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we hold on four, three, two, and one. Depending, you know, on which direction we're in. We keep changing. So to the front, we're holding on four, side is three, back is two, side again is one. Yes, we're gonna do that twice. So one and two, three, pull four, side, pull three, and four, back, hold two, and three, and four, hold one, two, three, four. We'll repeat that one more time. Just keep counting in your heads. I know we can all count to four. Then we're just going to plie, and we'll find the releve in fifth position. We'll find our balance there. Yeah, just trying to get both feet as turned out as possible. Heels are forward. Yeah, don't let this happen. Get those heels forward. We'll pull up through the hips and we'll find our balance in fifth position. When we're ready, we'll just open the arms, allonge and plie to finish. Yeah, so holding on four, holding on three, holding on two, and holding on one side. We repeat that one more time and we found our balance. Yeah, I'll talk to you as we do that. Just keep on counting and keep those jetes nice and sharp, just barely 45 degrees. Yeah, maybe 35. Let's do it. Ready. Starting from fifth. Six, seven, eight. In, two, three, hold four. In, two, hold three, four. Hold two, back. Two, four, holding one. Three, to the other side. One more time. sushi on top imagining if it was slightly falling off that feeling of being wrapped 
around the ankle, yeah? So that is our wrapped front. There is no wrapped back. I guess it would look very strange. So we're gonna do wrap front through the PA today. We'll do five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do wrap and down four times, three and four. Yeah, just imagine the toes and the whole foot is kind of staying on the leg as we go. And four. We'll do one double pay to the front, two, three, four. We'll do one double pay to the side and close to reverse. We do back. Same feeling as front. Yes, still imagine these toes drawing back, except it's just our heel on the leg. Four, one double pay back, one double pay side. Then we will take it into our coup de pied wrap. Let's try to find a balance there today, just on the flat foot for eight counts. We'll plie, we'll close it back to plie. Eight counts we have. Finding the balance, coup de pied back. Yes, arms are still front. The rest of our body is staying exactly the same. It's just the foot that is either wrapped or back. Nice and short, four coup de pieds, wrapping the foot. One double pied front, two, three, four, one double pied side, two, three, four, closing back. We reverse. Then we just have our coup de pied wrap. Balance, closing back, coup de pied back. Balance, closing front. Yeah, just that, let's do it. Ready. And wrap. Wrap and close. Wrap and close. Wrap and close. Dab okay to the front. Feel the resistance as you stretch the knee. And back. Coup de pied back. Coup de pied back. Toes back. Dab okay back. Close fit. Close fit and find your coup de pied wrapped to the front. Find your balance. Let's stay here a little bit longer. Good. Feeling that right knee and left shoulder moving backwards. Chest is moving front. And plie. And let's do back knee plie. Right knee is moving back. Left shoulder is moving back. Find that opposition. Good. And let's come back into our forearm coup de pied to close the pit. And finish. Good. Nice. Shake that booty out. That should be burning. Yeah. That supporting leg is really nice and strong because this doesn't really help us balance so much. We're really pushing into the floor and we're using the glute to find the turnout in the working leg. Yeah, let's go to the left. It's nice and simple, but trying to make these really, really clean and then those devil pace resisting as we stretch, yeah. Otherwise, we look like soccer players or football players. We roll, yeah, resist as we stretch. Let's go to the left. Starting from fit. Ready, six, seven, eight, and three, wrap and close, wrap and close, wrap and close, double pay to the front, double pay to the side, same to the back, 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 and double pay to the back, and side, okay, let's find a good pay, wrap, Starting from first position today, I want to do our preparation 
I don't believe I've taught this yet in this class, so let's go through that. We do five allonge, six plie in, first arm comes down, arm comes up as we turn to the front, opens with the leg, and then just the leg for pivot. Yeah, let's do that again. Five allonge, six plie, seven turn to front, arm comes front, open side with the arm, and just the leg. I know that's a lot of coordination. That is our preparation for a lot of Rome Dijon combinations. So just working on that. Yeah, it's a little bit faster than that. So we do five, almond J6, plie seven, tendu front, and eight opens, and just the leg. We do three Rome Dijon today. Two, three, we're gonna do a double Rome Dijon. So double Rome Dijon, we just do two Rome Dijon faster. One, two, yeah? Same thing, we still wanna draw front all the way to the back. It's just faster, so keeping strong on the supporting leg. One, two. Then we do that one more time. One, two, three, one, two. Today, we're gonna do 45 degrees off the floor, all the way to the back. Time to do one more time, plie on the supporting leg to quash front, to reverse, three, long de jambe, drawing back, and double, yeah, drawing all the way back to the front, twice, and double on a straight leg, 45 degrees, drawing the foot around, the foot stays 45 degrees, and tendu, same with plie on the supporting leg, keeping the knee turned out, Front. And let's close into first to finish. Yeah, just that. We do that once front, once back. Let's do it. Tempo is pretty nice and slow. So just remembering our preparation five, six, three, seven, and eight. And then we did three and then jump twice. 45 degrees on a straight leg, 45 degrees on a plie. We stretch the knee as we cloche through first to start reverse. Yeah? Let's do it. I'll talk to you as we go. Ready? Allonge, plie, seven times, front to side, back, front, and two, three, one, down. Good. One more time. Keep the supporting hip really stable. Lift in the body as the leg goes around. Same with plie. Keep the supporting knee turned out. Cross straightening the supporting knee. Reverse. Two, three, and double. One more time. Two, three. Good. And 45 degrees on the straight leg, pointing the foot. Yeah, making sure we're not, I know it's hard to keep that hip still. We want to just keep on turning out through the hip, through the calf, and pushing down with our supporting leg into the floor. That's how we're going to keep stable on our supporting leg. If you just let that kind of do whatever, <laughs> we're going to be moving around. Yeah, when we come to the center later on, when we're more advanced, we have to do rona jumps. We have to do all that in the center. So, already setting ourselves up with a strong leg. So we can do those double rotor jumps. Yes. Keep that. Don't let any belly dancing go on. Yeah, let's go to the left. Starting from first with our preparation. Allonge six, plie seven, front side.
Turn out the supporting knee and push. Reverse.
too frappe. I know I skipped these last week, so we have to do them this week. But I think this one is pretty fun. So it's not fast. We're just gonna be really nice and sharp. We do five, six, seven, preparation, challenge you side, eight to flex. We do one to the front, two to the front, two, PK, two to the side, two, PK, two to the back, one PK to closh, to bring it in, side, back, side. Then we reverse that, yeah. We do the same thing, back and side. I'm gonna change sides, but we'll stay on that side. We do two to the back, two, PK, two to the side, PK up, and up, two to the front, we just do one to closh, to come into flex, side, front, side, yeah. We just do that once, ande or ande done. After we do front, side, front, or side, front, side, we just finish, yeah. Yeah, side, front, side, and then we finish. So we did two front pay to the front, two PK, two front pay to the side, two PK, two front pay to the back, one PK, and the cloche to close in, side, back, side. Yeah, so since we just came from the front, we keep going on qua, side, back, side. Yeah, then we're gonna reverse, starting back. Two, two PKs. Keeping these nice and sharp, and sharp. Two PKs, and up, sharp, and sharp, one PK to clash in going on qua. Yeah, keep going in the next direction. For these frappes, I like to say, because I know frappes are really hard when we're starting out, there's a lot of coordination of like the pointing and the flexing. Imagine that there's a huge tarantula, I love to say this, that there's a huge tarantula just under our feet and we're like, oh my God, take that tarantula away. Yes, so we're Kicking that away, that points our foot, and as we bring it back, it flexes. Point, flex, point, flex. Just trying to get that coordination, but if you really imagine trying to kick something away, or imagine you have something on your shoe that you're trying to get off, that does help really trying to strike the floor. If we don't strike the floor, it makes it harder, yeah? Because we're like, what is going on? Striking the floor and pointing the foot together, that does help with our coordination. Just try to make a sound with our leg. Yeah, let's do that to two PK, front and side, to one PK back, to clash, side, back, side, to reverse, yeah, just once. Ready. Six, seven, down to side, to front, and up, up, same to the side. Four. 
we bring it up to passe, dab over your front, turn to your foot. One more dab over your front, keeping the arm to the side, hand close, forward or up front, six, seven, eight. Same to the side. 15, we'll just start. Let's start in Tandu again. 15, Bama. Three, four. Bring it up to passe. Arm comes front. Six, seven, close front. One more time. Arm should arrive into first position as we come into passe. Yeah, together. And it opens as the leg opens. Tandu. Fifth, we quarter bra towards the bar. Seven, eight. And turn your side to petite bum onto the back. Pass it. Double pay back. One more double pay to the back. We'll do quarter bra up and back. Six, seven, eight. Today, we're going to plie. Then, we're going to find a passe balance on releve. Just pushing down into the floor through the supporting knee. Keeping nice and stable. We'll try to find our balance here just for a second. And that's it, we'll finish. Yeah, just trying to stay there for a second. We haven't done that yet in this class. So just seeing where we're falling, keep trying to stay strong in the supporting leg. We'll close fit and finish, yeah? So we have five, six, seven, eight, petit bum, two, three, four, double pay, front. One more double pay, front, quarter bra. Tendu side, to start to the side. Yeah, the first time we come to the passe straight from the coup de pied. Then we close fit to the second one from fifth. We'll do it one quarter ball. Front side back, same thing. Plie, fifth back, bring it up to a passe front. Yeah, just under the kneecap, we find our balance. Let's do it. Trying to lift our knee as high as we can to stretch the knee, yeah, especially the side. Lift the knee. To stretch, trying to keep the hip down, knee is being lifted. Let's do it. Ready? On your side. The deep bum up. And passe. Jab a pin And one more. Arm comes to first as we arrive in passe.
Last time to the back. Keep on. Stretch the knees, relevé, and lower. 
three times and a stretch. Releve, keeping the knees straight, tendu into second. We do the same thing, stretching the knees before we releve. Plie and a stretch, releve. Three times, mm -hmm. tendu into right foot front. Same thing, releve. We'll bring the front foot to the back foot. Front foot to the back foot, tendu to change. Yeah, you can use either the foot, that doesn't matter. Just making sure we end with the left leg front. Plie, stretch. This time, left foot comes to the back leg, yeah? What do I mean by that? Right leg that is back right now is gonna stay there. Left leg, which is front right now, is gonna move with you to keep these legs nice and tight together. Yeah, I don't wanna see space there. Keeping them tight. Three times. Last time, we'll turn you under first. Ah, then we'll breathe and we'll be done, yeah? Hopefully you guys are feeling nice and tired. Last push, let's do this. Ready, starting in first. Plie, stretch, releve. Plie, stretch, releve. Lower, third one. Sondu, and to second. Same in second. Releve, lower. Plie, stretch, releve, lower. Pulling up as we lower. Tendu, right foot, front. Plie, releve. Forwards the left leg. Keep those legs tight together. Tendu and change. Left foot front. Towards the right foot now. Keep those legs nice and tight. And tendu into the first. Good. Okay, brilliant job, everyone. Give yourself a little pat down. That was a lot of hard work that you guys just put in. So please just give yourself a pat on the back. I know that with ballet, it is such a different way of moving that for a lot of us obviously isn't natural. Obviously for me, I think, because I've been doing it so long, it does feel natural to be doing all these things, but it is amazing that you guys have come this far in such a short amount of time. So really practicing does help. I say that all the time, but it is true. Um, there's an old saying in Chinese where it's like, if you don't practice for one day, you can feel it. If you can't, if you don't practice for two days, your teacher can see it. If you don't practice for three days, the audience can see it, yeah? So, <laughs> not that we're getting on stage anytime soon, or maybe we are, but it is good to keep on practicing in between just because this is such an unnatural way for us to be moving that it is important that we keep on training ourselves and our muscles to move that way. Once we really get to that point, we can start thinking about more technical things and improving um, you know, all of the ways that we're balancing and all that stuff. But of course that comes with the coordination and knowing all the steps and all that stuff, yes? So with that said, thank you guys so much for working so hard today. I will see you next week for our last beginner ballet on the YouTube channel. But until then, keep on practicing and I will see you then. Take care everyone. Bye.